What's up you guys? Welcome back to a yet another video. If you're new here, my name is Walter. You should totally subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're trying to see uh, ways to grow yourself and self-improvement tips. Today, I'm not really sure what the vlog is going to be about. Sorry, I said vlog. Vlog. I don't know what the vlog is going to be about today because I'm actually going to my sister's college to go dance at a performance. So, I thought I'd bring you guys along. I don't know. I'm getting out of Olin. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to class. But yeah, it should be fun. Uh, I'm gonna take the tea for the first time in like three months because I usually Uber everywhere. Uber everywhere. But you know, might as well bring you guys along. I'm gonna hit a workout there as well. It's workout C of the Kino Body Warrior Shredding Program. So it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, training at a new gym. I mean, we'll see what they have and then later have to dance and then the party. So it'll be, it'll be a great time. So if you guys liked that video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you fucks with the vibes, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I'm also really happy to say that I've been on the Warrior Shredding slash like this workout program from Kino Body for two weeks now. Actually, the first week I didn't really follow it to the T, but then this week I followed everything right. I've been tracking my macros with the MyFitnessPal app. It's really good if you're trying to get um, accurate slash like really good estimates of the type of foods that you're eating. So. I've actually lost three pounds. Uh, I was at 171 for my weigh-in, and now I'm at 168. So it just goes to show that you can definitely lose weight on this program, and I'm feeling really chiseled, uh, even though I haven't lost too much, obviously, but my strength gains are still there. Um, and yeah, you can sort of see some abs down there. I'm not gonna show you everything because I'm not done yet, but I'm really excited with <laughs> the results so far. So two months, here we go. Okay, so again, I don't know what day this is going up, but I've been taking cold showers for the past four days or something like that. Actually, today's the fifth day, so I'm gonna be taking a cold shower again. I don't know why I'm doing this. And I've been really sore for the past two days because I trained abs thanks to Will Tennyson's ab workout routine. And I have never been so defeated in my abdominal section. And I've been sore and the cold showers have really helped. They've been able to put me into a mindset where I can just focus and do a lot of things in a more productive manner. So I really appreciate these cold showers. I've kind of gotten used to them actually. So I am doing a video on that. So if you want, I'll leave the link somewhere up here um, so you can guys check that out. But let's get this cold shower in, baby. Woo! So I'm just about ready to go. I'm gonna go to Trim and call the Uber because it's easier for cars to leave through Trim's uh, like exit. But I quickly wanted to take this time and say, I didn't go to class today. And a lot of you might be thinking, oh crap, he skips class all the time. Uh, that's not the case, um, especially, well, especially in college when you have to do stuff on your own and you basically independent and no one's really watching you. Oftentimes you have to make decisions on whether you should go to class or whether you should do something that's more important. And in this case, traveling to my sister's college, which I've never done before, is gonna take a little longer. So uh, I can do my work, I'm bringing my laptop, I'm gonna code some things on the train and all this stuff. So you have to take decisions and oftentimes, people here and people, I mean, everywhere, just don't go to class because they have to do something else. And, and that's okay, like that's totally fine. And I encourage you to, think start thinking in a more mature way out for you guys out there that are like oh no i don't want to skip class because i you know i have class but i also want to do this do what you feel is more important to you whatever is important to you you're gonna put 110 percent in and that's just the reality of it and class will be class you can make up stuff at olin you can really talk to professors and be open with them and that's a really nice thing about where i'm at and so yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there because while I'm not showing you I'm going to class, I'm still doing the work and I'm still doing other work for other classes. And it's a lot, believe me. <laughs> so just wanted to put that out there and yeah. Uh, I should probably start heading out. Um, Cause I'm gonna be late to my bus. These are my bags, only two. <laughs> well, switch to the iPhone right now. Uh, I have my duffel bag right here. Brooklyn Tuck, class of 2019. You know the vibes. Um, going out right now, let's get this.
Goodbye. Dude, this is not work. Oh my god. Alright guys, we're with Caitlin. Caitlin is a Babson senior. So we just met on the Uber because we were going to the same place and we're taking it to the same stop, I believe. So that's kind of coincidental. She knows Jed Cow, which is a YouTuber that I used to follow. But I, st I still follow on like social media platforms. But Jed, if you're watching this, we have to connect somehow. Okay guys, so we actually just got out of the T. The T ride was pretty long, it was around like 47 minutes. And um, I'm only in Boston. We're actually near the Boston Commons, it's right behind me. But I'm walking to South Station right now. So it's gonna be a pretty, I think it's like an 11 minute walk. So my, my bus leaves at like 1.45 I think. And it's like 12.10 right now. So really early, I'm gonna do some work probably at the cafe or something. So we just made it to South Station bus terminal. Well, this is the train station, but the actual bus terminal is the one I'm walking to right now. It's uh, pretty, pretty big. There's a lot of buses that come and go every day. So I'm headed there right now. I'm gonna go through this little alley up this building and then to my bus. Oh, we're almost there guys. I'm just gonna sit down and do some work. I'll update you guys when I get on the bus, so yeah. So I've met up with Jenny. You know how B, the goons back. We got the tripod. We're actually, I actually don't know where we're heading right now, but it's been a while. We picked up the food um, from the catering place. Where are we going right now, Jenny? Going to Blanche. Going to Blanche. Blanche is Mount Holyoke's dining hall, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's where we're gonna be performing, so. It's a dining room and a conference. Uh, okay, yeah. And a performing show. So. Like, as soon as you, as soon as you exit this auditorium, you're Alright guys, so we just finished the show here. Um, I'm really excited to say that it went horribly wrong because I messed up with a trick that I usually know how to nail. But because I didn't practice it with my sombrero, I fucked up. So yeah, the show was okay. I mean, obviously you improvise, so it is what it is. This is Emily. I'm Emily. Whoa. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Um, I don't daily vlog, but I'm making a vlog today because I went from Olin to Mount Holyoke. Wow. This is one of my sister's friends. I'm her best friend. They close with me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's Jenny right there. Whoa. Is that charging? Yeah. We're just waiting here for the after party. Um, really excited. <laughs> I have a smoothie and I also have a really big chocolate, or sorry, no, Oreo flavored cookie. So. What's up, you guys? It's the next morning. Knocked out around like 2.33. My bed is deflated. Feels like I'm in astronaut training. I'm trying to balance out. I feel like I'm on a boat because it's so flat. But I think the plan is it's around 11:30. I'm gonna wake up, shower with the cold water, um, go work out, go to the gym, get a quick workout for chest since I didn't work out yesterday, and then go eat and then go do work before I leave around like six or something. And then it's Boston time, so yeah. Right, so it's around before 12. Um, me and Jenny are gonna go to the gym right now because we didn't get to go yesterday. And because Jenny's gonna start to learn how to do the right exercises to get that summer 2020 body we're all striving for. I'm gonna hit some chest, like I said earlier, probably some triceps, but we're gonna take you guys along to the Mount Holyoke gym. So we made it to the gym. I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be able to record, but we'll see what they have. It's not like Babson's gym at all, but it's something.
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I almost died, wow. That's it. Alright guys, as you just saw, I almost died. Jenny witnessed, Jenny partially witnessed that. It's definitely a learning process for me because this is the first time I'm actually going from the like muscle building slash bulking phase to a uh, shrink perhaps slash calorie deficit. It'll hopefully remind me to one, beware of how much weight I'm doing, two, always make sure I have a spotter, and three, to take this program a little bit more with caution, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Right now, where are we going right now? Greenhouse. We're going to the greenhouse. Yeah, I got some egg white omelet with some all the veggies. Sriracha, got some pita bread, cheese, and hummus. And Jenny got an omelet as well. I got some oat milk. I'm gonna try oat milk for the first time to plan through the water, you know, the essentials. So as long as Jenny's at my whole yolk, I will be eating good because this is 9 out of 10, well actually 10 out of 10 dining. They have every day. I'm gonna have some cereal later. I'll show you guys how much cereal they have. It's kind of insane. I wish they had that at Oland, but it's all good. Got to enjoy it while Jenny's still in college. <laughs> all right, so we have chips and pickle, quesadilla with carrots, beans and chicken with some sour cream and guac and then we have some leftover chicken fried chicken fr fried rice chicken fried rice chicken fried rice better enjoy this right now 